Jason. Right, Jason. Where are we going? We're going to Portsmouth, New Hampshire. We are going to meet Scott from Pallet and Woodworking and I'm gonna beat him up and steal his <laughs> lunch money. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna just talk about the licensing fee, who owns the product, just like make the deal of the RPG tracking system. We don't know how we're selling it, who owns what, who's getting paid for what. Yeah. So we just gotta like iron that out. Made it. Beautiful sunny Portsmouth. It is a nice day. It is a nice day. It was terrible. Spring, spring it has just sprung. snowed yesterday and now... Yesterday. Ah, oh, it was nice snow though. It was like big chunky flakes. Where are we going? We going to Bob's? Street. <laughs> street. It's called it's Street. It's just called Street. It's got street food. It sounded good. It's inside food. Yes, it's street food in a building. <laughs> <laughs> Artisanal tap water. That's street water. Street, ooh, yeah, street water. It's coming straight from the street. So, Scott. Weird angle. There he is. Welcome. How you doing? Good. Should we wait till we get food before we start talking oh, business? I don't know. It doesn't matter to me. I'm not starving. How's the MRI sales game? How many MRIs did you sell this morning? What I want. <laughs> That's classified currently, unfortunately. What are you getting, Jason? The Bon Me seems pretty good. Beep and Bop. A what? Big fan of Beep and Bop. Beep and Bop. Beep and Bop. Oh, Beep Beep Bop. Beep Beep Bop. Beep and Bop. Beep and Bop. Beep Boo Boo Bop. Boo Boo Beep. Beep Boo Boo Bop. Boo Boo Bop. You guys want to order some apps? We'll get a crispy rice app only because I want to try that. Sounds good. There you are. Enjoy. Thank you. Damn. I have no clue what crispy rice cake is. Nope. But I'm here for it. Food network shit going on here. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's a wrap. We're done here. Yeah. <laughs> right. I think we're done. Good to see we you guys. Yeah. <laughs> What's your gut feel about this? How do you think this will go? I have no fucking clue. <laughs> we were hoping for like three million for MGT, and we hit that in yeah, like the first day. an hour and a half. <laughs> How do you feel so far about where we are on everything, licensing? Should I go over? You want me to go over? Basically, we split it up. We have three sections. We have. Kickstarter launch, there's licensing fees, there's an agreement there. For sale on wormwoodgaming.com. And then we have wholesaling or retail. What does that look like? I think the biggest mistake we did is we like developed the whole thing before even talking about any of this. <laughs> right? It's like getting married and then being like, hey, do you have a job? <laughs> By the way. I think this was Doug's idea, which is a great idea, is like instead of thinking it as a percentage, if we think of it as like, how much money do you want to make per tracker when you sell them? We can just increase the price until we get what you like. And you can kind of be like, yeah, I want to make $1 per tracker or whatever it might be. And honestly, people might like that. Would that work for you? Like a, um, Does it help you play with the, the overall the only, price the, easier? It definitely helps us play with the overall price easier. I actually don't like it because it's going to fuck you over. Tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> like if we say, yeah, you get a dollar per tracker, yeah. and then in three years, inflation is out of control and we're not selling trackers for $50, you are still mm. getting $1 per tracker. Yeah. I actually don't like that for you. Let's Two. lock in the percentage, yeah. and then as yeah. our prices go up, your compensation goes up. There's no reason, why am I even arguing for this? This helps you only. <laughs> My goal is you get no money and I get all the money. Your goal is you get all the money and I get no money. <laughs> I want to be right here. Yeah, I want to be somewhere you. in here. I'm with you. Like, let's be honest, that's what negotiations yeah. are. In order to get my theoretical 2.5%, mm -hmm. I think we might have to jack these prices up way too high. Mm -hmm. That's my theory. I guarantee you we could sell them for $25 a piece. The amount of people willing to buy them for that is going to be less. Let's start popping in. Yeah. What is your number per tracker? I think a dollar would be great. So you want, you want to hit a dollar per tracker. Yes. I want 2.5%. You want a dollar. $44 a piece. <laughs> well, how about this? Matt, gut check. You've said like you're interested in this product. Yeah. You think it's pretty kick-ass. You'd be you'd be buying this. Yep. What is too much for a tracker? I can't go above 20. I think I think 20 is like literally the psychological limit. Even 20 with 5% is 90 cents a piece. I really want it to be a number you guys think, you know, sure. carry this from a volume perspective well, in a profitability perspective for you guys. Yeah. I don't want either of us to get too greedy. 
Right. And then literally we have one quarter of the backers that we could. Yeah. I would because that like it's so uh, it's so finicky. There's no way to know. That's yeah. the hardest thing. Again, I would rather take less to help ensure long-term success and this thing meets the goal and then uh, you know has a chance to go on into retail and, and down the road and we can develop a new system for it. What's your ideal number to sell the trackers for? 15 would be so good. I think 17 feels very similar. I think 18 is the highest you go without being $20. How about $17, 3.5%. That would theoretically, with a $500,000 Kickstarter and backer kit, that give you 17,500. Do you feel good about those numbers from a Wormwood perspective? 17 to three and a half? Yeah, we are raising the price a little bit so that you're getting a cut that you feel comfortable with, with the design you brought Wormwood. This Kickstarter, this idea, this product would not exist if you didn't bring it to us. So you getting what you feel is good, I think is pretty important. I appreciate it. And it would never see the market if you guys weren't taking it to Kickstarter. Yeah. So, yes. you know, it's, it's the reality of it. I could take it to Kickstarter and 12 people would see it. Yeah. So, that's good. Me looking at this number and knowing what you guys have to invest to fulfill this, if yeah. it does well. You don't have to do anything. <laughs> you just get the worried. sit back, sit margaritas on the beach, <laughs> collect your royalty check. <laughs> You're not in your basement cutting stuff, making smoke, sanding, spraying. That is why I'm here, my friend. Yeah, like, <laughs> like so three and a half is good for me. Three and a half percent, I like it. Do it, do it. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Let's try that again, all right. <laughs> We're, We're gonna make Scott rich. <laughs> the day. We're here. I'm so excited. Oh Wormlight. shit, and we're already recording Worm Life. Yeah. JV, Yo. what can we steal? From you. Oh, when are you doing this? You're doing this now, aren't you? <laughs> Give me three minutes. Okay, great. Now yeah, let's go up to the break room. D uh, when you're done, can you, uh, yeah, just deliver the system? The entire thing. All 22 trackers, keepers, <laughs> tray, brig. Yeah. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, let's relax. How are you feeling? I saw I'm your. Gonna... I saw your. Uh... I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I got a text from you last night <laughs> that I didn't even respond to. You were like, oh God, you should have warned me not to read the comments. I read them, they were mostly positive, I, I thought. I guess I'm not used to that, you know, and I, I, there were a lot of positive comments, people excited about it. For sure. But then someone will go into the 15 reasons why this isn't as good as X Solution. I'm like, oh sure. I know it's not for everyone, you know, but it's yeah. still a pretty cool product and, but we'll see, we'll see. I mean, my optimism is up and down and up and down. We got oh. deliveries. Mm. Thanks guys. Oh man. Look at that. Equal real estate. Yes. I'm glad we went with this. I am too. It's very exciting to see my logo on there with yours and I know we considered different options but that's that's really slick. And I'm sure we'll talk about it more later but when I look at what Jason and uh, Owen and Bennett and the team have contributed on the production side like I can't come close to how you guys can crank these things out and particularly the price points I think it's a very affordable product and it's not something I could have done on myself my mm. own so that's another thing that I do want to I want to focus on that because we did have a worm life yeah pointing to it ten dollars <laughs> uh, we tried we tried we really really tried that was something that we really really wanted and the story isn't oh no it's not at ten dollars right. the story is wormwood got it down to 17 when it was 35 35 or 37 yeah which is crazy remarkable and i can say you know as the guy who came up with this in the first place these look nicer than what i was doing out of my shop no when i was way. doing my best to make them one at a time but i mean honestly up close these look really good and this is the first time i've actually got to handle the ones you've made so this is true it's this pretty is true. cool it's really cool this kicks this <laughs> You have stuff. I do have stuff. You brought stuff. I brought stuff. stuff. Let's take a look. You want to see stuff? Oh, I do. Oh, no. so, oh, you son of a bitch. So I made a couple pieces to, you guys can do as usual, whatever you want with them. Oh. I think we all know the future of your company. <laughs> it's in stone right now. And I think everyone's behind this concept. Well, it's in wood right now. That eventually you guys are going to. Yeah. The Loot Goose giant 
Rick, the goose of destruction. Oh, it's a character. It is a boss monster. You can see the AC is always 55, no matter what you set it to. Nine legendary actions. This goose is a badass. This would be a goose that could do some serious damage. Matt knows. He's looking at the stats. Yeah, like, you can't, how are you going to hit this thing? You're not. That's a TPK. Of the walking. There's goose feet in one of the dials. Absolutely. He's got a water speed. Absolutely, he says. Swim speed, a fly speed, and a waddle speed. They're all too fast for you. Oh yeah, they're all like 90, 100. Wow. And we're giving this away. Oh. We're giving this away. Hell yeah. Just like a thing. Let, yeah, do the Subscribe things. Subscribe some stuff. Do the things on the screen right yeah. now. <laughs> do the things, and you could win yourself a, uh, a nice loot goose. <laughs> This is crazy. Oh. The track rack. The track rack. Not on the page as of now, but it is in the video. Oh, look at this. It's very satisfying. It does sound great when it's going in. Go ahead, tilt that to the side. Nothing. Definitely my favorite unintended consequence was how they line themselves up immediately when you put them in. Oh, this is nice too. On top. Yeah, I'm digging that. Boom. A couple of those bad boys side by side, you got the whole system. It's good, I like it. But it's hot. Ooh, six minutes. Scott, how are you feeling right now? Uh, <laughs> supremely uh, confident. No, I, I, I am excited, uh, nervous, so. Where's the worst Kickstarter so far? Do we know? Yeah, Not this one, how about that? Yeah. <laughs> Scott? You ready? Click it. You ready? Click it.